In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export and import your closed captions with the all new Adobe Captivate 12.3 update. Okay, this should be a relatively short video. Uh, I'm gonna talk today about how the latest update to Adobe Captivate 12.3 now allows you to export your closed captions. There's two formats that you need to be aware of. SRT, which is just standard closed captions, and there's also VTT, which is primarily designed for video, but it does afford you a few extra options, which I'll point out in the video. Okay, so here's a project I'm working on right now, and I've already added closed captions to this. So let's say I needed to do some editing of these closed captions, or I needed to share them with someone who was also going to do some editing. We can certainly do that now. In the past, you always had the ability to go and click on your file drop down menu and export all of your project content and closed captions. But that was a non-standard file. That was saving it as a Word document, which is ideal if you're sending it off for translations. Once it came back from translations, you certainly could import those project content and closed captions. So that's something entirely different. Here we're looking at actual closed caption format. So let's take a look at the audio section of our properties inspector here. Notice I've already added closed captions. If you hadn't done this already, you would see the option to add closed captions. But we can go ahead and press edit. And that's gonna bring you into the closed captions view of Adobe Captivate. And what's there now, of course, is the ability to export and replace your closed captions with something else. I don't have anything else to import, so let's start off by exporting our closed captions. Now, the default name of your closed caption file will be the name of the audio clip that you're using. In this case, I was using uh, Well Said Labs to produce the audio. So it has the initials of the voice character and which clip number it is. And then, of course, I can choose where I want to save it to. My desktop is fine. And in this case, SRT is uh, great for straight up closed captions. But one of the advantages of VTT files is that they do contain metadata as well as information about formatting the captions. So this might be useful to you. I'm going to go ahead and press export. In this case, I'm, I'm, if you've already done this, you might see a message like this where uh, I'm writing over top of that. That's fine, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Something to note about exporting and importing closed captions using this method is that it's on a per slide basis. So if I go ahead now and open that file I just exported in Microsoft Notepad, or you could also use TextEdit if you're on a Mac, you'll see here some of the information about this particular slide and its closed caption. So we have in the middle here, we have the text. You can edit certain things like get rid of extra spaces. But like I said, there is this additional information about the font. So you have this syntax here where we can add font face equals Georgia. So the font I'm using throughout this course is Georgia. You could do a search and replace and replace all the Georgia fonts with some other font you wish to use. You also could search and replace the size of the font that you're using. And this, of course, is the color associated with the font here. And then you have a closing syntax here. So if I wanted to go through and just get rid of all the extra spaces or anything that was causing problems with the display of all this stuff, this looks pretty good. One of the things I thought about is that I was inconsistent with a press continue to proceed. And I'd like to be more consistent. So I'm going to change that from an, an uppercase C to a lowercase C. And otherwise, this looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and save that option. We'll close this down here. And now what I can do is I can replace the slides captions. Now you'll get this warning message about replacing captions. Not a problem, just go ahead and press replace. 
navigate to where your file is. You don't need to select SRT or VTT first. It's going to look for any files that fall within this set of parameters here, SRT, VTT, text, or .txt, T-E-X-T. So I'm going to go ahead and press open, and this will update my closed captions, and you'll be able to see that you know, for example, I changed press continue to proceed to a lowercase c, and that is there. And of course, now I can continue with my other slides, and we'll go into audio, edit closed captions, and we can export all of our files as either an SRT or VTT, do a little bit of editing, massage the file, if you will, and then import it back in, not a problem. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.